Yo Internet, I am Calvin, and this is Space Engineers. Today, um, on the 27th, I believe, yeah, March 27th, uh, Thursday, there has been an update, and it, inc it includes one of the coolest things ever. And it's it's pretty close to NPCs, but it's not. Now, right now, you'll see I'm in this, like, ship called Private Sail, and it's just, you know, it's not really something I could build, because I, I suck at building, but um, that's beside the point. The point is, this thing is randomly generated, and you can go hunt them down, loot them, and uh, take the crap that you know, take the crap that's in them, and um, and there's a bunch of different versions of it. Oh crap! Oh crap! Okay, I forgot to turn the nurse dampers off. Yeah. Wait, did am I even going anywhere? Oh wait, no, I'm not. I'm hallucinating. <laughs> um, but basically, yeah, this is one of the uh, ships that will. Um, be spawned in. I don't think it's fully built yet either. If we go to, I'm in creative mode by the way. Oh, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Let's just get rid of all this. Clean up our uh, toolbar. Throw that there. Throw that there. Um, yeah, it's uh, not completed fully. Does it even use resources I have? No. That takes a long time. But basically, these things uh, will randomly pop up in your world. And I'll show you how to put them in, because I'll be doing it in my um, Let's Play series that I'm going to be uploading today. I'm going to upload three videos today. Uh, part 11 of the uh, of the Let's Play, part 12 of it, and this. Um, not Probably not in that order, but like, you know, yeah. So let's check out what this ship has to offer. Um, Alright, so it's got, you know, not a lot. Um, this ship is a private sail. It's not got much. There's uh, military ships, there's cargo ships, and there is... Um, these private ones. There might be some more, I'm not sure, but this thing is great for, like, you know, harvesting uh, parts without having to, you know, go mining for hours on end. Like, it, and it looks pretty cool, honestly. You can, like, pimp it out, you know? Um, let's take the uranium that is in the uh, thing. Oh, another cool thing that kind of makes this possible. Um, the reason that the uranium is able to not run out uh, while, you know, this thing's an NPC basically on its own, like it couldn't refuel itself, the uh, the solar panels are have been a little bit revamped, so the ship will take power from solar panels first and then from um, then from reactors, uh, so that that's kind of cool. Um, still kind of not, you know, I don't know if it would be worth it or not, I haven't really given it much of a try, but you, um, I'm not sure if it, like, add, has added more, you know, power capabilities to it or not. Um, but yeah. So I'm gonna go and show you guys what creating a new world is like with this option enabled, and we'll go hunt down some more kind of ships. So what you're gonna wanna do is when you go to New World, um, go to Custom World or whatever, uh, you see this little new option that they added called Cargo Ships. And it's whether random cargo ships should be enabled, and you know definitely because they're awesome. Uh, let's just make this a let's make it a um, let's make it a let's go with the asteroids. Why not? Or let's go with the crash red ship. Just you know something small that will load kind of fast. And we want to be creative just so I can show you this off. Excuse me. Um, blah 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 blah. Why not? And yeah. All right. When I saw the patch notes for this, I'm like, oh my god, no way. And I wouldn't say it's underwhelming. It kind of is a little bit, but you know, it's still a pretty cool, you know, add-on to make the world less, uh, you know, empty and dull. It makes it more. God, there's a word for it. I'm I'm totally blanking. But like, there's you know less static, more. Uh, I don't know, real, I guess. Um, but yeah, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a uh, a beacon should pop up somewhere. There we go, military transporter. Uh, beacon pops up, and that means there's a ship over there. And another cool thing is if you look down at my speed real fast, um, it'll be able, I'm able to go faster than other, than ships, so I'm able to catch up for that, catch up to like, say, my ship when it goes flying off at max speed, I'm like, oh, I can never catch up to it. But now, um, the max speed for ships is 104.5 uh, meters per second. The max speed for a person, like an astronaut on by himself, is 11, 111.5. Uh, so you can always catch up to your ship, just in case, you know, hell breaks loose. 
which I think is pretty cool because, you know, if you work hard on a ship and it just, like, you know, runs away from you, then you're screwed. But now you're not, so yeah. Alright, here, we're coming up on it. Just appeared. And, uh, it's, you know, moving on its own and everything. And I haven't seen this kind of ship before. I've only seen the private sail one. So, oh, it's got heavy armor. Sick. And so it's like camouflage, like military. Oh, it's a transport. That means you can, oh my god, this looks cool. This looks really cool. Let's check this thing out. Is it moving? Yeah, it's moving. Dang, that thing looks pretty sick. Like, damn, seriously. Well, this is like, this is really cool looking. Holy crap. Uh, is there gravity on this bad boy? I think there might be. Um, let's just, let's go down in here. Um, oh no. <laughs> Wait, 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 this is really disorienting. Okay. Let's turn our lights on. Alright, so this is the back of the ship. And we're traveling, not too fast, like 10 meters per second. This thing's got some turrets on here. We got like, it looks like a, you know, kind of like a, whoa, never mind. <laughs> Don't want to fall down there. It'd be a pain, pain to get back in. Um, but what we could do is we'll just, uh, we'll fly up. We'll, um... Honestly, I don't know where the door is for this thing. I probably should look for that first. Oh, there's a way in right here. Alright, neato. Nope! Nope! Oh, Alright. Alright. What is this? Oh, it's a warhead. Oh, sick. Alright, so now we're inside this thing. And, uh, you know, let's go check it out. Let's explore. This one's a lot bigger and a lot better than, um, whoops, uh, than the last one I showed you. Right, so it looks like we got some interior turrets that yet do they don't do anything yet, but um, I can go down here. Oh yeah, I'm in creative mode. I can fall without taking damage. Oh, this looks this looks sick. This is sick. This is like I, this is really cool, honestly. A lot better than any ship I could ever do. Oh, sweet. All right, so you get tons of ammo, two welders, um, even more ammo in that one, and uh, it looks like thruster components or no detector components. But yeah, dude, this is this is really cool. You, oh, you get four guns, got an armory going on in here. This is really cool. This <laughs> is really, really cool. <laughs> wow, this is like, this is elaborate as hell. Like, I give props to you guys, the developers who made this. That's sick. And multiple reactors, you know, in case you want to... Like this, I'm going to enable this stuff in my uh, survival world um, that I've been doing it showing you guys Let's see what's over here um it's like an escape pod or something what is what is this it looks like it might be an escape pod yeah oh no apparently i heard uh that they're booby trapped and i i don't get i mean like i guess that was kind of what we just looked at right there um meaning like they're you know you gotta look for the entrance i guess but that's not really a booby trap it's more just like a uh, I don't even know, I guess camouflage to an extent. It's not that big of a thing, but if, uh, if you didn't say like you didn't want to have this ship or whatever, you could easily just like, uh, you could easily harvest it for parts and you would get so many parts. This looks like it's a hangar thing. Oh wait, does this hangar have like mechanics to it? Oh, please say yes. Please say yes. Um, all right, let's check out what's in this cargo container. Probably... Thruster ammo, this sweet stuff. Uh, wait, what's over here? This thing is a lot bigger on the inside. Alright, so let's check out what's in here. I, well, I did look through all of it, but like, that's just, I just wanted to, you know, look around and take a better glance at stuff. Same cargo container. Uh, wow. Yeah, this thing's like a fun house where it's a lot bigger on the inside. Jeez. I want to check out real fast before I end this, um, because I've pretty much shown you everything. I just want to take a look at this whole thing, see what this is all about. Okay, uh, let's try to orient ourselves correctly here. All right, this, this looks like a, uh, something. Um, it, it's supposed to be a door, I guess, but it doesn't really open, so... 
Oh wait, maybe it maybe it does. Maybe it does. Maybe there's like a, a thing right here. Oh, come, come on, you can do it. Go down. Uh, it looks like it's made for the door to open uh, somehow. Uh, huh. Wow. Um, I could cut right now and go, uh, you know, load up another world and show you guys, um, like, some other ships and stuff. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'll see you guys in just a second. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. And, um, I load up a world, and I think, this, this is just my guess here, is that, like, there's only one ship per world. And yeah, I, I feel like I'm wrong on that, and I really hope I am, because that would be just stupid. I think you have to, like, loot one or blow it up or something before the next one can get there, but I load up this new world, and I got another private sale, and that's way too far away. Um, so instead of showing you guys all of them, I'll let you guys explore that yourselves. Um, not because I'm lazy, but because it'll just take up way too much time, and it'd be a pain in the butt. But, um, yeah, let's leave some surprises for you guys, and I think you guys will like it. I'll see you guys in my Let's Play, and peace out.